Okay, what we're going to do now is have a look at something called the ballistic pendulum. Now, this is something where we're going to use a block that is suspended by a couple of little strings, if you like. We're going to shoot a bullet, if you like, at that block. It's going to stick to the block. So we're looking at an inelastic collision, therefore kinetic energy is not conserved, but momentum is. The block, as you'd expect, is going to swing up. And what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to say a few things about this collision. We know that momentum is conserved when the bullet hits that block. And we know that the kinetic energy it has once the bullet has stuck to it is then going to be converted into gravitational potential energy. So our goal here is to work out how high that block swings or use how high it swings to give us a speed on this bullet or projectile. So it's a nice way to work out a speed without actually measuring the speed because you can measure the height much easier, right? So there's a few things we can say to start off with. Um, we'll call this V1 and M1 we'll call this M2. The speed of this system, once the bullet has stuck to it, we'll call VB, and we'll call the change in height H. So one of the first things we can say, basically once the bullet has stuck to it, we can say that one half times M1 plus M2 times VB squared, that's the kinetic energy once the bullet has stuck, will be equal to M1 plus M2, the two masses together, times GH. Kinetic energy equals gravitational potential. Right? Year 11 idea, I think. We can also go back to the initial collision and say that V1 M1, total momentum, because the block's not moving, is going to be equal to M1 plus M2 times VB. Right? Total momentum of the block after the bullet has hit it. Now, the thing is that when I look at this problem here, Okay, I don't really want to be, have VB. I want to know V1 in terms of H. So I want no VBs in the equation. And this little one is going to enable me to get rid of the VB. I can just say, okay, that means that V1 M1 divided by M1 plus M2 is equal to VB. So now I can rewrite my equation and go 1 half times M1 plus M2 times V1 M1 over M1 plus M2 squared is equal to M1 plus M2 times GH. And if we do the algebra, we're going to come out with V1 and it's something I'd like you to do, do the actual algebra, V1 is going to be equal to M1 plus M2 all over M1 times the square root of 2GH. So that's it. It was pretty simple, but it uses nice little conservation of momentum, conservation of energy principles.